All right, so we're working on the 1992 Dodge Dakota LE. And we're preparing to put in a new starter. Here's my new one. It's a little bit smaller in length. All right, but the back's the same. And it's the same that way, so. The difference is this bolt is 5 16 not 9 30 seconds as it was on the old one and that goes right there this one's still half inch 5 8 or 16 millimeter that holds the starter in through here now speaking of that what I noticed is on on these starters, this hole is just, you know, just the bolt fits barely in there. But on your top one, it's got play. It's that way on every starter that I bought. Now, apparently they're doing that so you can go in and out against your ring gear. You know, it's going to pivot a little bit. And so, speaking of that, I'm going to go ahead and use my pin to help me hold the starter in. I've got a 3.9 liter engine, but from what I've seen, Dodge vans and trucks pretty much all use that same starter probably from this era, time era. But they come in different sizes, and I believe I had one that was a lot bigger and heavier, and, and that's when I had so much trouble getting the bolt in, the bottom bolt. I remember that's when it happened. So I'm going to go ahead and use my pen, or whatever you want to call that. That's where the bottom bolt hole will go over the top. To help me install the starter, then I'll put the bottom one in. See, I'll be able to just slide my starter onto that. And then get my bottom one in. That's only finger tight so I can get it back out. And I've already cleaned up my connections for the top. For the electrical, I mean. So now I'm prepared to go ahead and try and put that in. And uh, this way, you know, my threading on that bottom bolt, which is what's causing the problem. I'm pretty sure that had a lot to do with the fact that this starter was having so much trouble. And uh, I don't know if that actually knocked it out of commission but if this was trying to turn and it couldn't turn because it was hanging there loose well you're gonna probably burn up your contacts on the inside of your solenoid and that's exactly what I think happened it only lasted about one year it's remanufactured the warranties are usually about a year this one is brand new it's a little smaller but that doesn't mean it's not Plenty powerful. In fact, it, I'm thinking it's probably more powerful than this one. I had one with a big round piece here on the bottom. You know, I mean, it still fit in. It still had the same fittings. But that's the one that gave me the trouble. And that's when I got the threads screwed up. This piece here was much larger and it was round. And it was heavy and it was difficult to put in so that's when my problem started so I'll let you go with that and I mentioned the bolt size you know what wrenches you need because I've watched your videos too and those are the ones that helped me the most with knowing exactly what bolt goes where and what wrench you're gonna need so I hope this helps you out 
This is John Rudy with 3D Racing, signing off.